Hi and welcome. In this video tutorial we will show you how to use the beat by beat input. An efficient musical way to get your music into a score in Scorecloud is by playing beat by beat. You can do this to create a new score or to edit and replace notes in an existing song. Let's start by making a brand new score. Create a new document and select normal mode. Open the virtual piano from the window menu or use an external MIDI keyboard. You can input notes in one or up to four beats at a time. Click on the first beat to select it. To include more beats, shift click on the second, third or fourth. Notice that the selected beats get a red border. This indicates that it is ready to play beat by beat. Play on your keyboard to insert notes. As you may notice, after you have played, the section jumps forward automatically. In general, you will get more precise results by playing one beat at a time, especially for more complex rhythms. Also note that you can play your passage as slow as you want. Make sure to keep a steady tempo and to play the last note in its full duration, not cutting it off too early. This is a common mistake that might generate undesired results. Notice the difference between these. If you want to change what you've played, you can either go back using the left arrow key on your computer keyboard, or simply select the beats you want to play again. You can also use the rhythm changer in the actions panel to adjust the rhythm. You can also use beat by beat to input notes into a different voice. Use the tab key to toggle between existing voices or to make a new one. Let me show you. When writing down a song, playing the whole song beat by beat first and then going back to edit mistakes can be a good workflow. This helps you save time and not get stuck in details. You can also use beat by beat to play chords. Then you can use the outer chord feature to help you name the chords. If you use the virtual piano, note that many computer keyboards limit how many keys can be pressed at the same time. So if some of your key presses don't register, you might have to add them manually later. Also note that if you use a MIDI keyboard, the volume of the notes are set to the velocity that you play. 
but notes enter with a virtual piano are set to a default volume. We hope that you will try the beat by beat input because we think it's great. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other tutorials.